We're joined now by um, State Senator Gary Winfield, who is from the New Haven area. Senator Winfield, we have you with us. I'm here. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good to talk to you. I'm doing great. Um, are you feeling confident about uh, the Democratic uh, scene in, in Connecticut and uh, your 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 caucus perhaps growing at the state Senate? I'm feeling pretty confident. I know that um, the uh, people who might be joining us worked uh, very hard uh, and they worked hard all the way through. Uh, and I think hard work pays off. So I, I'm feeling really confident, yes. You, um, you have uh, been chairman of one of the most important committees in the legislature, mm -hmm. the Judiciary Committee. Uh, do you have your eye on any other, uh, any other position in the uh, legislature for the new term? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to be where I currently am uh, in the Judiciary Committee. There's a lot of work uh, that we have left to do, uh, and I'm looking forward to finishing that work. Senator, some candidates this uh, ha have used the police accountability bill, tried to use it against their mm -hmm. opponents. Can you talk a little bit about that and whether... Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I think there, I think there's been a lot of uh, distortion of what the bill was um, and going into this uh, very political part of the season. I think people were trying to use it against uh, some of my colleagues who I think did the right thing in voting for it. Um, and I, I'm not sure that it played out the way that people thought it was going to play out. I think we have a, a nation and a state uh, that actually understand more than perhaps in the past why this bill was important. Um, and so we'll see at the end of the night, but I, I don't think it, it was uh, as strong a, a, a reason not to vote for someone as people believe that, that it would have been. Right. I mean, if, if somebody were to say to you, oh, Senator, you're, you're trying to defund the police, what, what would be your response to that? Well, first I'd ask them what they mean by that, since that conversation uh, includes a lot of things. And if, they, if what they meant by that is what the police have said to me ever since I started working on this stuff, which is, that uh, we ask them to do things they're not required to do, uh, and we should have other people do those things, then I would say they were correct. If they, if they were asking me if I meant to take all the money away from police and uh, abolish them, then that wasn't what the bill was about. Uh, Senator, do you, uh, have you, outside the realm of political campaigns, have you heard any uh, interesting suggestions on how the law might be changed or added to in the next session? <laughs> I, I guess, I, I I guess it depends on who you're asking. <laughs> um, we, those conversations are about to be underway. Um, some of the people who wanted to have those conversations couldn't figure out exactly what they were going to ask us. And so I said, let's do this. Honestly, I want to have this conversation. So when we finish the election, let's sit down, let's figure out what it is you actually want and figure out whether it's something that we can do together. All right. We will look forward to having you on Face the State. Tell us more about that. Thank you. For All right. Thank us. you for having me. Thank you so much, Senator Winfield.